Surprise! The mustache. Well, I can't take you all these changes. This is episode 7 of my weekly journey as a self-published author and this particular episode is called visibility. Visibility is just that, being visible and being visible in both the digital, the internet, the web and also in the physical realm. And so what I notice, to me, I look at visibility or being visible as, you know, look at how marketing works. Anytime that there's a product, you're either bombarded with all types of different advertisements or if you see how things are, if you notice as far as to your Facebook or your web um navigating through your web you would start seeing advertisements or particular pages that match with your interests and so the whole point of the game is to be visible and keep on showing you what the internet feels you know you you want to see and the way that i look at that when it comes to being a self-published author is that that is one of the things that we strive for to be visible was from a genius conflicted something like john legend saying that you get lifted heaven only knows the path that's presented so i walk around life like a play that's unscripted improv and make your hand not constricted with no danger can't tell me to quit that shit it's already done dog my riding kids be balanced like the legs on the tripod from being torn between the real and what's up aside danger angel falling from the okay I, I'm Jamie. I do caricatures. Um, I'm hosting an event coming up October 5th um, at the Brick of the Blue Star uh, with my friend Ryan Forrester. Uh, we're doing uh, drawings, live drawings for people who want to uh, learn how to draw. I'll be helping them with instructions and stuff. I also picked up this nice little copy here. So go ahead and pick yourself up a nice little copy. You know, it'll be some nice reading. Stimulate the mind, work out the brain. You know what I mean? Um, be on the lookout for me. You can look me up on Facebook. You can look me up on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? Any social media. Hit me up. Link up with me. Uh, you can get my email. Uh, it's at j.a.alexander at gmail.com. And look me up on Facebook, Jamie Alexander. Just in the actual world. You um, networking and everything like that. But you're invisible when it comes to on online. And what I've noticed is that having, it's a balance. Everything, <laughs> everything all boils down to a balance. And what I've learned is that you need a combination of both. You want to be visible both in real life and you want to be visible online. And what that does is, what I've noticed is that there are certain people that will see me in public and they will they won't get a book at that particular point they might see me later on that week or they may see me another week and so you know they may not even say anything about the book or they may start asking questions 
and then they'll see a post on Facebook if they have me as a friend or if we're a part of the same network of people or group of people or a part of the same uh, Facebook groups and they'll notice as far as different posts on there and then they'll see on top of me being visible they can see me online or the book online then they're able to see me in the real world and that that repetition and visibility all connected as one and then sometimes I get hey what's what's this book about I've been seeing it everywhere and I'm now I'm curious and from there to me that's that's half the battle once you once they ask you what it's about or ask you in general once you've sparked that curiosity sometimes they may not get it but that's half the battle getting them there and now you you pique their interest everybody has set rules boundaries caged in too long i gotta break free times has changed for a backpack and mc you think this ain't dope you must be crazy distance ain't a factor with what i'm after you don't need a couple to see the crafter retweet your lame bars follow it with laughter you give a new definition to whack rappers running after paper percents equals remedial success every verse deserves a pull back words from jada kiss make your brain hot twist like a board kick flip ko punch like combos no McDonald's, my boss, have they I know sometimes in previous videos I'll kind of go through as far as with creating a book in general and things like that but this is more so the after <laughs> so you want to be visible and that's online and offline so thank you for tuning in this is episode 7 from self-doubt to self-publish I'm super excited about this week feels like a lot of good energy and I'm working on the next book, more collaborative projects, more insights in general. Yeah, so be on the lookout. And again, there's going to be a link for my first work of fiction, Ideas of Illusion. It's a psychological thriller that takes place in the year 2025 in San Antonio. So if you like the whole conspiracy or the just the character who is going through self-realization and progression like to me this feels like a new age version of books like the alchemist or said arthur or i'm not comparing as far as the writing to these greats or anything like that but it is my type of book that was inspired by books like that. This is kind of like my take. If there was a futuristic, dystopian, self-discovery book that blends in conspiracy and trying to better the world, but is there's a lot of... Um, just, just in general, that's what this book revolves around and so i'm excited and it's been last five months have been amazing with the support and just in general i like i said i want to be able to help so help me to help you if you have any questions self-publishing even with writing a book different routines or anything more to come this is episode seven of from self-doubt to self publish thank you for tuning in hit the like button subscribe drop a comment peace